Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Bliggs. We're back to talk a little bit more of a niche reality TV show. This is Surviving Barstool Season 3. Uh, this is exclusively on the Barstool Sports social media's YouTube channel. You can go on barstoolsports.com, find the competition. It's going to be Monday through Wednesdays for the looks like the next three weeks or so. Make sure you're liked and subscribed here on TikTok. I'll be making sure I'll be throwing up uh, some funny clips of the episodes as well, as well as uh, going forward, probably have at least one other person here reviewing with me. Okay, look, so right off the top, Obviously, if you are a Barstool Sports reader, fan, watch the videos, listen to the podcast, this show is going to be a little bit more enjoyable for you just because of the backstory, you know, the dynamics and the relationships. However, from watching this first episode from just an objective, hey, watching reality TV, I cover reality TV. I think the production did a pretty good job of just establishing relationships early on, at least who's friends with who, who all these people are as far as the hierarchy in the company. Um, and I think that's going to unfold a little bit more as the episodes go on. Um, like I said, episode one here on Monday came right after Cyber Monday. I'm going to run through what I thought. And then obviously we will uh, get in with the rest of the week. Uh, so starting off, we have two tribes here. We have the stars and the stool tribe, obviously for Barstool. We have the stars tribe, uh, Dan, Big Cat, Dave, El Prez. We have Tommy. Smokes, who has won a few of their other produced reality TV shows, including a surviving season. Uh, we have Rico Bosco, probably going to be the most entertaining as far as freak out. He's going to get bullied the most. He's a big backstory of kind of making a redemption arc from work. He kind of gotten let go and brought back. Uh, we have Jerry, a.k.a. Jersey Jerry, Union Strong. He was a union, uh, I think it was a pipe fitter or something like that, and they brought him in. He became a blogger, big Steelers fan. He's very funny, recovering addict, uh, so you'll probably see some things mentioned there. PFT comments are also from part of my take. That is the biggest sports podcast in the world with Big Cat. And then Paul Gazitsky, a.k.a. Gaz, he is the sales guy, kind of like number two to Dave. And they are going to be very close throughout. You have uh, the KFC radio crew starting on the stool squad, KFC and Feidelberg, Feidelberg. Famously saying here, he does not care about winning. He really wants to just go home. He wants to sleep. Uh, you had Will Compton, former NFL player, busting with the boys. Nate, a.k.a. the Nate dog. He is the editor-in-chief. So there are good dynamics that are set within these groups already that we're going to see play out, um, especially in the star side where you have the Big Cat, PFT, Jerry, Rico, that's definitely a solid group. They all kind of do a lot of content together. They are friends. Um, on the flip side, you have Dave, Gaz, who are like this. Um, and then PFT and Big Cat being like this really sets the dynamic of, hey, they have an advantage of numbers in that group. As far as the other side, that's a little bit more of a toss-up. Uh, you have a lot of mixed uh, relationships there. Hank and Kirk. Uh, you have KFC and Fights. You have Hank and Che have had history. So it's just a lot there. Um, two idols in play at all times. They have to sleep in the Barstool office in Manhattan for the entire week. We are going to have a live finale event with the final three that's going to be in Chicago in a few weeks. So obviously we'll keep up with all of that. Uh, the idol search begins. It is all over the office. There are clues involved. We get to see multiple people go through the process. Uh, including KFC, uh, including Hank, who goes all the way through the clues to get all the way to Erica, who's their CEO's office, to find out that it seems like the idol is already gone. And that's going to come into play this episode. We go to the challenge. It is a kind of um, assembly line passing within different colored circles. You have to do your passes, stay inside your circle, get all the way to your shooter who shoots on a goal. You get to uh, first to 10, five point halftime to switch positions. And this is where we probably got the second moment of the episode. Say top two moments. It's probably number two. Rico Bosco freak out. We had mentioned Rico Bosco kind of being on a redemption tour. Rico steps out of bounds multiple times with his hand and feet. This one time, though, very close, probably the most questionable call of the day. And he loses his crap. Uh, I have the clip on our TikTok. It is hilarious. Uh, this leads to a 10 to I think it was 10 to six, seven team stool victory uh, team stool again being KFC fights Will Compton Nate Kirk Che and Hank 
meaning that one of the crew of Dan, Dave, Tommy, Rico, Jerry, PFT, and Gaz will be the first member of our jury and first eliminated from Surviving Barstool. Um, basically, we play down to the camp life, as it were. Of, do we allow Tommy Smokes, who's a really good reality player, to remain? Or does the tribe look to get some, rid of someone like Rico? Bad performance in the challenge, pretty straightforward. However, getting rid of Rico really does um, screw up the numbers for Big Cat, PFT, Jerry, that they would like to keep. We get to the idol. It comes up as kind of common knowledge. Hey, let's just get rid of Tommy. Tommy has won a lot of competitions, and Tommy would be the biggest threat long term. However, we find out that Tommy, being smart and being a big, he's the guy that does like the Survivor, or did at least do their Survivor uh, podcast. And one of the things that he noticed, and a few other people's noticed, is that sometimes when people go to specific locations, is like someone like Hank, who's been behind the camera. He saw when they went to specific locations, the production people rushing up with the cameras, and that kind of led them to believe, oh, wait, like, there's got to be something around here if these guys are kind of cherry-picking and hanging out wanting to catch something there. Tommy walks into Erica's office, picks up this goofy dog statue, thing falls right out. Tommy goes in, tells Dave, so that Dave is aware. They realize that that foursome needs to be broken up, and hey, why don't we get the most likable and maybe kind of the common glue of the foursome being Dan, a.k.a. Big Cat. Big Cat gets our first Big Cat blindside. Uh, Big Cat is out. Big Cat lives in Chicago. It means he's got to stay in a hotel for like the solid like week, which he probably really enjoyed. Um, but now you have kind of a rudderless ship. Yeah, PFT does is friends with Jerry and is friends with Rico, but not nearly as close as it is with Big Cat. I think we could start to see some severed loyalties there. It's very interesting to see where that tribe will go. Okay, well, that is my first quick overview of what happened on Surviving Barstool Episode 1. I'll be back tonight, uh, Tuesday night, for the Episode 2 review. Maybe myself and possibly Kevin. Um, if not, it'll be just me again tonight. Uh, make sure, like I said, you're liked and subscribed here and on TikTok. We cover everything and anything reality TV, from Love Island to Squid Games to Survivor, The Challenge, Amazing Race, Anything on Bravo like Vanderpump Rules, Winter House, Southern Charm, uh, 90 Day Fiance the other way if you're a TLC person. We've got it covered. Interviews with cast members, the works. Um, but until next time, for everyone here at The Reality Guys, I'm Billy Blinks. Thank you for watching.